let us just have a litty 2023. Hey there, my handsome, my pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So I have over here my iPad, and I have my notes. So I kind of wanted to get into what my New Year's resolutions and goals and intentions are for 2023. It is the end of December, so I figured I would get all of that wrapped up. And yeah, so without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. A little bit of housekeeping before we get started. So thank you so much to everybody this year who participated in helping support my minimalism book that brought me so much joy. I thought I'd be a little bit transparent about it though. So I put it on Amazon. So the book is, I think, I forgot how much it is. It's like 15 bucks or something like that. Amazon pays me three bucks for the book. So I figured for three bucks, I might as well give it to you guys for free. So if you are interested in picking up a copy, of course, I definitely want to say thank you to the subscribers who did buy the book. Thank you so, so, so much. And if you want a free copy too, on top of the copy that you already have on your Kindle, then please hit me up as well too. But yeah, I just wanted to give back to the community, show you guys some love. So if you want a copy of the book, just just hit me up at my business email which i'll have down here it's also in the description box just shoot me an email saying you want a free copy of the pdf of the book and i will definitely give that to you guys the second housekeeping thing that i wanted to mention is so you guys know that i started a jewelry business but i've been kind of struggling with it recently i took down my shopify i, I honestly i don't really know what i'm doing and i'm big enough of a girl to admit that i need help i'm looking for a mentor if there's anybody who's been in like this e-commerce situation or know something about jewelry or whatever hit me up again at my business email shoot me an email um, i would love to have a, be given some advice a little bit of guidance a little bit of mentorship because like i kind of i'm kind of stuck i don't really know what i'm doing anymore so i would love that okay now that we got that all out of the way let us get into the goals and intentions for 2023 okay so number one keep being healthy so this has been a really big part of i guess the 2022 i've been like on a big health kick and i've been feeling a lot better it started somewhere around in march i got really inspired by the it girl trend and i've just been on it and i've been loving it and i feel a lot better prior to that i was still in recovery and i wasn't working out i hadn't worked out for about four years because of my recovery so and then i really needed that for my mental health but i think i kind of went overboard or i passed the point of diminishing returns and i just didn't feel good anymore i remember just sitting in my chair feeling out of breath which is probably like not the way to go. So I was like, I need to think, change things up. So I'm really grateful that I started getting on a health kick. It's been very balanced and very good for my mental health. Among some of the things too, is that like I finally cut gluten out of my diet. As you guys saw in my videos, gluten had been messing up my skin for the past five years and it just got to the point where I just couldn't handle it anymore. So I'm on a gluten-free diet and I feel so much better. My skin is definitely getting a lot better. So you guys can see like how much better my skin is. I still have a couple little dots and like my skin's finally healing because it hasn't been too long since I cut out gluten. It's only been a couple months. Like things take time it, it's a progress just to let you guys know it wasn't something that happened overnight but yeah i've been really happy so i definitely want to keep that up that is an intention that i have for 2023 i want to keep being healthy i want to continue my gluten-free diet and i also want to continue my morning runs if i'm not too busy with work and i have the morning off i would love to go for a morning run i like running in the rain in the snow in the sun it is really nice i'm happiest and if i need a break i will take a break i have such a healthy relationship with running now which is something i didn't have before and that's probably why i developed runner's knee okay so intention number two is to be less materialistic so i think that in my minimalism break i've definitely had the opportunity to indulge my materialistic and hedonistic wants and i'm super grateful for that really happy for that opportunity and i think that in 2023 i think i want to work on maybe being a little bit less materialistic practicing a little bit more gratitude i think what i'd like to do now that i have a lot more nicer pieces and i'm like really happy with my abundance is i would like to take care of my pieces so i want to put a bit more focus on cleaning more so i think i will be making more come clean with me videos in the future because i don't know i just cleaning makes me really happy one of my favorite books is a monk's guide to cleaning and it's how you can find zazen and in cleaning and that book also was life-changing along with like marie kondo and fumio sasaki i don't know what it is about the japanese but they're just here changing my life <laughs> thank you robert kiyosaki and i also want to meditate some more i do meditate but i've been kind of falling off track just recently because i've just been so busy with work that it just kind of fell on the back burner so if i can meditate a little bit more that would be fantastic just like a little quick five minutes just get into zen enter into flow state that would be amazing okay so point number three is that i would like to stop tying my self-worth to numbers so for the longest time i have let numbers dictate my life when i had an eating disorder numbers dictated my weight the scale 
pretty much was the slave master. Then after that, I was really obsessed with like the numbers in my bank account. I was really obsessed with my Instagram followers, my YouTube subscriber count. It's just been a never ending, I guess, slave age to just numbers. And I don't want to do that anymore. I would love to just love myself for who I am and truly embody Zen and minimalism where my self-worth is not tied to the numbers. I know that I preach that on my channel, but that is a personal struggle of mine. So that's why I put this on the list. I, I don't want to tie my self-worth to numbers anymore. All of those, not, not for IG, not for YouTube, not to my bank account, not to progress. Just I want to love myself this year. Okay, number four, I want to keep up my upload YouTube schedule. I have um, a YouTube friend. He says that I have a consistent upload schedule and that meant so, so much to me. Um, Christian, if you're watching this, hi, I take note. <laughs> and one thing that I just want to mention is that really meant a lot to me because I'm not particularly talented. I think my best feature or my best characteristic is that I'm consistent. I'm obsessed and maybe a little extreme and I have a neurotic tick where if I like something, I keep doing it over and over and over again. But yeah, I guess it paid off. I've been very consistent with my YouTube uploads since I went ham back in, I started going really serious with my channel as a business back in 2020. So my upload schedule is something that's been brought me a lot of joy. I have a diary where I just, I record every time like I upload my upload schedule and like I was just like flipping back. It's like I've been uploading three times a week for like the past two years and it's like a lot of good things have come out of this consistent upload schedule so I would love to continue that in 2023. I'm not changing anything about it. I'm just going to try my best to match that, keep it up and obviously if work gets in the way like there's nothing I can do about that but to the best of my ability I would love to put intention into that and to keep that schedule going. Okay number five, the next thing that I want to practice and the thing that I want to maintain is I want to keep practicing gratitude and an abundance mindset. For the longest time in my minimalism journey I use my minimal Minimalism as a coping mechanism to survive poverty, survive med school, survive student loans. I was definitely operating in a protective mechanism, a scarcity mindset, which was needed at the time. I needed to survive. I was surviving in operation, operation mode, survival mode. So finally, I'm in a place where I decided that I want to live in abundance. And to my surprise, it has not been an easy shift. Like it actually does require a big mental shift because I've been changing a lot of my underlying subconscious paradigms to tell myself it's okay to live in abundance. I really didn't want to live in abundance because I was fearful. What if I lost that abundance? It's better to just not have it. So then I won't fear losing it. And it's just it really just was not a way to live. And I've spent an, almost an entire year, because now it's the end of December, and I started my minimalism breaking back in January, an entire year rewriting those underlying paradigms, telling myself like, it is okay to practice gratitude. It is okay to want better. It is okay to live in abundance. And that is something that's in a personal struggle of mine. It's it's almost kind of like weird and funny, because like I, I never thought that that would be something that I would need to work on. Like who doesn't want, you know, good stuff and lots of stuff and like an abundance. Like, I guess maybe in some ways, like I thought it was greedy to ask for that like I thought it was selfish to ask for that but I don't when I think about it I'm like I don't think that's what God would want for me I, I'm a very religious person and I really do believe that God wants the best for all of us so I feel like I, I want to live my purpose I want to live my best life and I think that for me that is living in abundance so coming back to my intention for 2023 I want to keep practicing gratitude so I actually have been to help myself out with like actionable goals I have picked up some journals that and I even literally picked up a gratitude journal yeah, so I picked up a gratitude journal. Literally, the, the function of the journal is to just literally write my gratitude because it's just something that I need to practice with. I think that in 2021, when I had that mental breakdown, when I was decluttering stuff, I just, I just, I knew I could not keep living in a scarcity mindset. My mental health was just like completely messed up. I just, I needed, I needed to finally start living my best life. Like I was scared. I just didn't know how to do it. But I was like, you know what, Nat? Honestly, everything takes practice. Like you didn't get fit overnight. Just like you're not going to become abundant in gratitude overnight. So just practice on it. Practice makes perfect. So I was like, okay, let's do some actionable goals. I picked up this book. This is from the dollar store. I really like the five minute journal that's at Indigo, but it's $32. And it's not a not right now. I never tell myself no. So that's society's job to tell me no. I never tell myself no. So I will definitely be picking that up when I feel comfortable to, you know, like $32 for a book. Actually, what the hell am I saying? Like, this is like an investment in my mental health. Anyway, so when this one is done, I will definitely be buying the five minute journal. I actually have the e-copy on my phone, which I actually got from Minimalista. Um, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been actually fantastic. I have it on my iPad. So I do write on my iPad. So I was actually using that first. And then I am still kind of a textile type of girl. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of journals they're not journals they're more kind of like so this one is like my workbook i keep everything i'm like a 
physical hand type of girl. I'm old school like that. Like I'm in my 30s. So like as much as I love tech and I am ahead of my time because I do love tech for somebody who's, you know, an old millennial, but I still do appreciate like a hard copy. It just, I don't know, it brings me life. And so I'm going to do it. Anyway, yeah, a lot of my goals are not really actionable because they're there. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to fix my underlying paradigms, the things and the thoughts that I tell myself, those are the things that I'm fixing. So I think that working on that for me is like the key part. And then I feel like the actions will follow because I'm, I'm like cleaning up mentally. What's like all the garbage that I've been telling myself, uh, I'm working on that. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that this could have given you guys intention and food for thought. Let me know what you, what your intentions are for the new years. I love to read it. You guys know that for me, the biggest blessing of my YouTube channel has been my subscribers. I was very fearful to start my YouTube channel because I thought that people were going to be mean to me on the internet, but I have literally the sweetest subscribers. You guys are amazing. So I feel like I have a personal connection with each and one of my subscribers. Maybe it's just because like I'm still a small YouTube content creator but like when i remember you guys like i know your names like i'm this is this is my hobby this is the thing that makes me happiest i remember my subscribers names and i know that you guys know that i know you guys' names because when you guys write things I, I referred back to you guys and i mentioned things from things that we have talked about so please tell me your new year's goals and intentions i would love to hear it i just want the best for us in 2023 i just have like a women's intuition that 2023 is going to be the year is going to be our year like I, I just feel it i'm super excited for us you know like honestly the previous years and they have been a shit show. So I think that finally 2023 is our year to shine. It's going to be our year. And like, I'm super excited. So yeah, I will see you guys in the new year. Thank you for watching. And let us just have a litty 2023.